My name is Jubilee Edwards. I live in Port Elizabeth. I'm a fine artist and a painter. My series of work is called Sheer and Schnitt, Communicating in Place and Non-Place. It's about the way that we communicate with each other in, in personal and intimate relationships and how place and space affects the way we communicate. I've always been interested in the arts. I did ballet and dancing when I was a little girl and always did creative things with my mom and I did drama in high school but for me the reason why I started taking it seriously and decided to look at it as my life was because of the church and because of God. I, I went to an abstract art workshop in church and from that moment on I realised this is what I want to do with my life. And my process starts with writing letters. Ever since I was a little girl I collected letters from friends and family and people that I loved because I really appreciated and held close the words that they said. For me it was authentic, it was real. So letters have always been a very important part of my life and the artworks that I made are from the letters that I've sent and received. This series specifically from the letters I sent and received in 2016. So when I was sending letters, I suddenly became aware of the spaces between people. When you send a virtual message, that space disintegrates. It's it's as if the person is right there, but they're not there. And when you send a letter, you have to take the time to sit and write out each word. There's intent with that. And then you have to go and physically put it in a post box. Wait for that letter to then go to somebody else. Then when they get it, if they get it, <laughs> they have to read it, write a response, and send something back to you. So you become very aware of how far you are from each other and the distance between you. And even though your message isn't instant, you feel more in the present when you're reading the letter. From the letter that I've written, I'll then take inscriptions and use those words and handwriting to create a pattern. And then what I do is I cut out the pattern using the words and they create almost like snowflake shapes. They are inspired by um, Schier and Schnitt. It's a German traditional love letter. How these letters are made is taking paper and then cutting them into intricate patterns and then scribing beautiful messages onto them. Instead of the Schneer and Schnitt being a love letter, I use my love letters to create these cutouts. What drives my work is love. And I know that might sound cheesy. <laughs> but it's the truth. I don't mean love as the world kind of portrays it now. But like the imagery you always see surrounding love is roses and flowers and fluffy pink things and hearts. To me there's a serious side of that. It's a, a real truthful side of love. Love is about sincerity and authenticity and intimacy. I wanted to make people aware of virtual spaces. So marrying this, this old tradition of love letter writing and craft with the idea of a virtual space and the devices that we carry around with us every day. So what I have done is ask the viewer to take out their cell phone and use their cell phone light to interact with the artworks. Last year, I read a book called Alone Together, why we expect more from technology and less from each other. She talks about how our relationships are for convenience, and we wonder why we feel so lonely. We have thousands of friends on Facebook, but no one that's actually really, truly connecting with intimately. We're getting hold of someone, for what we can get out of it. We see people as objects to be accessed instead of friends. 
and that's happened because of the virtual face of it. Each artwork is created from cellophane and tracing paper and different types of paper and each give a different effect when light is shone through. And I like to hide little messages or postage stamps or patterns in the artwork. So there's things that you'll only see by shining a light through it.